Hello everybody and welcome back to Gotham Lounge. My name is Joe, and today we're back with some more Death Stranding. So the big thing, I actually forgot to mention the previous episode on how I got back over here from Mountain Knot City. So I had two options. Mountain Knot City, either go back the way I came, which I would have to loop all the way around the northernmost part of the map, and then back all the way down again to Mama's Lab, or cut through the mountains over here. But, I decided to cut through the mountains because it's actually the faster way and the, I thought it was the less dangerous way. But, we're going to go back that way again, but just a forewarning, it's very snowy. And, uh, time fall does happen in the snowy mountains and it's just as difficult. So, how we're going to plan this route, here we are. By the time fall shelter. We're going to go up to... Uh, wherever the cosplayer... Yeah, right over here. We're going to go to the cosplayer first. And then once we get to the cosplayer, we're going to find our way over to the weather station. And then from the weather station, all the way to Mountain Knot. So let's focus on getting to the cosplayer first. Because what we can do is try and recharge the suit. And I'm likely, likely... I'm going to have to switch boots multiple times. But thankfully, I came prepared. I got my carrier. I got Mama. I got extra weapons on my tool rack. Whoa, look out. Don't drop Mama, please. Actually, there's an auto... That looks like an auto paver up there. I did grab uh, some ceramics from whoever recycled them. So whoever recycled them, thank you very much. They're actually on my carrier, so I can offload some of that, and hopefully build a road, or at least help people get a step closer to building a road. Okay, yeah, this is an auto paver. I'm gonna go here first. Go ahead and, uh... Be charitable to the world. Actually, I could fill up the rest of the chiral crystals. Ceramics, thank you. And we got a lot of chiral crystals after that boss fight. Alright. Other bridges members, thank you for the likes. Hopefully this works out. Alright, now the cosplayer. Oh, look out, look out. We're falling, we're falling. The cosplayer's down there. Ah! Cargo's bouncing around. Someone, oh, someone built a time fall shelter. Oh, boy. Let's see the safest way to go. Someone left a bike there, but I don't think taking a bike is going to be our best option. Over here! Over here. Over here. Hmm. Uh, I think that's going to be too heavy. Uh, you know what? Let's go back the other way. I think the best option is to look out. Yes, yeah, so go up that way. Uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and, uh, Footwear is almost completely ruined. Thankfully, I have extra boots. Okay, here we go. Baby's happy. 
god. Pretty sure all mamas in real life think that way too. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because now where we should go is we should make our way somehow to the weather station. Let's go to the online bridge that's over there. Probably gonna be our best way to go. I'm gonna have to offload these boots in a moment. Because these boots are not gonna make it. I don't know if I'll find any more along the way. There's a bridge over here, too. But we need to get on that side, so we need to go up through those... That's the weather station right there. We gotta go up through the snowy mountains. It's strong, Sam. Easy for you to say, Mama. You're just enjoying the ride. <sighs> you know what I can do, too, once I get to the weather station? I'm gonna see if anybody... Dropped off any extra boots I can take. Oh, look up. And my boots are gone. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and. Alright, new boots. Old boots are destroyed. There we go. Here's the bridge that I wanted. I'm gonna have to charge the suit up too. So the next move is to find a generator. Because it is going to be very difficult to pull this. Plus carry mom all at once. I'm gonna be charitable to this bridge, too. Here, take some chiral crystals. Please don't fall off the bridge. the ladder and the climbing anchor, because I don't think I'm going to need them right now at this point. I don't think I'm going to be able to climb those anyways with this carrier attached to me. Yeah, see, there's a ladder right there, but I don't even want to try it. I'm afraid, like, the wiring might snap. Alright, we're looking good so far. Someone actually picked them up. Okay, weather station okay, right so there. There's a destroyed the bowl of over there. The hospital I was was crushed by a bridge. Still have nightmares about it. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And, yeah. I know I got my sound considering our employer. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark, too. Don't sleep anymore. Can't. Yeah, she's definitely been through the ringer. Is there a generator nearby? There is. Oh! Actually, it's right there. Conveniently located in front of where my next target is. 
Well, my next target location, that is. Get this charged up. And be prepared to trek through those snowy mountains. Yeah, and like I said before, the time fall up there is just as bad as the time fall in the rain. But that just makes it even more thrilling. <laughs> for almost 11 minutes, which is a pretty good time. It's raining pretty heavy. I think what I'm going to do, go to the generator first and foremost, get the suit charged up, see if there's anything for me to take in the weather station by some very generous other players from around the world. Yeah, my suit's about to die out. Finding more and more power crystals. I'm gonna give you a light for having this generator perfectly located. Okay. Now, next challenge. We gotta get up these mountains. Now, the way I did it before, yeah, it was pretty much just a straight shot. But the way I went up was pretty much through that way. I'm going to try, if at all possible, which I don't think it's going to be. Oh, maybe. Try to find as flat of a surface as best I can. I know I just contradicted myself by saying I was going to stop at the weather station for other stuff, but I just want to get up these mountains. Mommy, there as quickly as possible. I'm afraid there's going to be some time fall. Actually, I do see a pretty uh, flat ish type of area. Anything I see, we're just going to throw it onto the carrier. So on a side note, I hope you guys are doing very well. And most of you guys have asked, and yes, I did see the new Batman movie. <laughs> it was absolutely magnificent. It took a completely different approach to what I'm normally used to in Batman films. But you know what? It performed very well. Had a lot of surprises. Pleasant surprises. I recommend go see it. But uh, the biggest thing I would recommend... Don't see a matinee showing. I mean, no, see a matinee showing. Uh-oh. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, shit. Alright, you know what? It is time. Oh. It is time to drink some of this not-sponsored Monster Energy drink. There we go. Not an easy climb. Oh my goodness. Maybe I need to find another way. Maybe I just need to not be a dumb dumb going up this hill. Alright, we made it. Now we're actually in the snow. Alright, now it's just a matter of trying to get there without, one, the suit dying out, which that's going to be impossible. And two, without the boots getting ruined, that's also going to be impossible, but thankfully I packed several extra pairs. You go and Sam. Alright. 
baby's happy. Okay, there's my car, sir. So I make sure I'm not losing my waypoints. I'm not going uh going off the beaten path. crystals meaning yep there was definitely some uh BT and timefall activity. I was connected on the Carl network this high up. I didn't think the weather station would be all the way this way. Oh I see a stranding though right there, right where that waypoint's going. A little bit of a cause for concern. that would have happened already. Both the uh, chiral crystals and flying all the ground, it looked like uh, somebody had fought my battle for me. <laughs> so thank you. Muchos gracias. I know. I'm trying to stay strong. Hold on, I'm going to stop for a minute. Let me stand and go back up. Stop, 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 stop. Thankfully, I still have some more non-sponsored Monster Energy drink left. <laughs> That's so crazy. A lot of lost cargo around, too. Yes, yeah, some alloys. There's a roboticist. I don't, I don't think I even encountered that person. Goodness. Look, I'm up in Mount Washington. Alright, we're going downhill, so this actually should alleviate some of the stamina. Hopefully. Yeah, see? Chiral crystal over there. I'm not gonna stop every minute to grab a chiral crystal, though. Even though it's tempting. Yep, who am I kidding? I'm grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just donated a bunch to the bridges back there. And hopefully have a road built. Oh boy. Yeah. This is time falls snow with these dark snowflakes. Yep, this is what I was talking about. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful. me to actually use Ooh. she wants me to use the cord cutters Snow. Mm. Don't see more right now. I'm just gonna 
carry on. Using my anti-BT handgun. Hopefully that'll just be enough to do the trick. Deal his car when we get all the way up here. Hey, Sam. God damn. Do you remember your own birth? Well, I remember being inside the one. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers. And Loch Ness. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. They were so many. They knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. No distance was too great. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body. Join in spirit. We had a beach just for us. When we share. Our own private chiral necklace. With cupids. They can build one that will let everyone share what Lachlan and I have. Uh, I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for Bridges. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. It will make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold. Where they would share, share a life. I knew we could change the world. With all my help, we finalized the cupid design. But after the attack, and the rest, everything changed. For the first time in my life, walk no one. Sorry guys, I don't mean to cut off the dialogue, but I just want to make sure like, I'm just going the right direction. I know, I know. Not losing track of where I'm supposed to go. I can feel her again. She's close. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. You and me, Sam. We're getting there, we're almost there. Right, I see another stranding up ahead. Okay, this is gonna be a steep drop. Oh boy. Um we might have to Oh! There it is. That's Mount Knot City, right there. Okay, um... Let's just think for a minute. I know this is gonna be a steep drop. Okay, steep, but I think it's gonna be manageable. Oh, careful. But just to be safe, we're gonna have some more of this hashtag not sponsored monster energy drink. There we go. Just to be safe. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, actually, this isn't too bad. Go down this way. I'm gonna go right. We should be out of the snow. Just a matter of a few feet. And actually, the safest way to go is actually... Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go over here. Around like this, and then down that hill that way. Begin the scan. Scanning okay. Oh, actually, we can go here. Mm. Oh, careful, careful. Weapons All weapons Almost fell. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. That was it. Welcome, Time fall was getting a little terrifying up there, but we did it. Alright. Mama is here. hear your voice again. I shouldn't have kept you in the dark. Tried to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Hotman. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love him. You hear me? Forever. And always. Make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. For awesome. I just got a trophy. We're whole again. Oh my. I got a oh almost a three-star connection with Lochne. You been awarded the title of Carrier. Few porters can match your talents in the field. You have reached cargo condition grade 40. It will now be hard for you to lose consciousness. 
put almost 40 hours into this game. Holy moly. All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiters should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her ka passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing our vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. New strand established. Nice. Mountain Notch City has joined the UCA. Stabilizer. Finally, we can see things that are around. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're one. Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Akna. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Chiron Network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam. There's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names, and terms we picked out. The munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. 
Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Oh, and now that we have a brighter coat, finally. It's been a while since I've rested in one. For this? Surprise. Yes, it's mine. Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. Chapter 6. Uh oh. You What's may going recall on? me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, It'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this'll work? <clears throat> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? The wolf forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again! Uh. Oh. Uh. And this is why I hate these things. Uh. Uh. Sam. I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury.
Um. Dude. Get out of my shower, bro. It's not yours. Okay, this isn't weird at all. No one can spy on us in here. Yeah. It's just you and me. No audio records stuff. of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret, on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the chiral network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Yeah, that was beyond messed up. Make BB feel better by connecting up nearby facilities with the Cupid to increase chiral density. Alright, let's see. What is that, Timefall Port? Is that a new drink? Yeah, we can skip that. One more. There we go. Takes the baby, then jumps in the shower with me. I mean, how much more do you get? All right, we'll at least check the terminal. See what we can do. Plan our next move because we gotta get the baby back. Yeah. 
Dead man tells me your BB isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, You'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Dead Man restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sadman, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't mind if we stick to Hollow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the chiral network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. All right, so it looks like next couple of deliveries we're gonna have to make. One to the doctor, some medicine samples, and a high bell spring to the roboticist. We're gonna have to do it without the baby. Standard orders here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I gotta go all the way to the distribution center. I have to bring four of those over? Oh, wow. Okay. That'll be done another day. Alrighty, guys. Well, the episode was very uh, eventful, so to speak. For our mama here, mama unfortunately has passed away, and now BB is gone for the moment until uh, we try to reconnect the preppers. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting chapter. So uh, on that note, guys, I'm going to actually go ahead and end the episode right here. So thank you guys very much for tuning in today for this episode of Death Stranding here on Gotham Lounge. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video, and feel free to leave a comment down below as always. If you'd like to continue to stay in touch with us, watching future videos or videos of our past, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and you'll get a bell notification every time I upload a brand new video. So once again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in today for this episode of Death Stranding here on Gotham Lounge, and you guys have a fantastic day.